wonder how an aircraft in such cloudy low visibility condition like this approaches wondered how an aircraft lands on rainy days like this Namaste greetings today we bring you to another short documentary Today's documentary is short but very interesting, and it all revolves around the clip which you just saw. Yes, the big question from the clip is how an aircraft is landing in such cloudy conditions. Yes, I admit it's because of technology, but today we shall go for a deep dive into understanding the technology which helps an aircraft to land in terrible conditions. instrument which helps an aircraft is called an ILS or better known as an instrument landing system which is a radio wave based navigation system which enables an aircraft for short guidance range of approach with minimal chances of error task of the system is to guide an aircraft both in its lateral direction and vertical direction towards the runway to guide in the bidirectional point has two components which have both ground machine and these ground machines are placed in the airport or in the boundary of the airport the two components are localizer and glide slope which have both our ground machines again which is being placed obviously in the airport's boundary but there are little small machines which obviously placed in an aircraft for the ILS system to work properly component known as localizer will provide lateral guidance that is it will provide a horizontal guidance to the aircraft now mainly talking about the ground based systems or the machines it shall consist of a short heighted pole set on the ground on top of it with antennas as shown in the image Now some information about the localizer which has been given in Wikipedia is that the frequency of localizer is 108 decimal 1 megahertz to 111 decimal 95 megahertz. Speak briefly about the two components of ILS. So first speaking about the glide slope So glide slope is the instrument which provides a vertical guidance to the aircraft meaning the altitude descent rate towards the runway. And talking about the ground machine mainly, it has a long vertical pole as shown in the image with antennas on the sides which distribute signal which is later on received by the aircraft. Now talk how does an ILS work? So to match up and connect with an ILS system the air traffic control at the given airport will give the aircraft pre-assigned heading to connect with the localizer system of the ILS which we talked earlier in the video now this will provide lateral guidance obviously the localizer now obviously several aircrafts can be on the ILS on approach at a given point and will maintain a good distance apart from each other now the second part is when does an aircraft connect with a glide slope So yes obviously we first got the localizer which is the horizontal guidance but when will it get the glide slope So it will get only when the aircraft is at a pre designated altitude at a given point in the air Now typically an aircraft is on approach just about 3.7 km before the runway starts Now there's another word or phrase which we say or the pilots say that established on approach now when can it be said it can be said when the aircraft is on the localizer course with an approximate difference of 2 and 2 and a half degrees and about 3.7 km away from the runway now the basic function of the instrument landing system was to guide an aircraft in rough weather conditions 
So there are various categories of ILS which will work in different weather condition. Mainly there are three types of ILS. The first one is known as CAT1 which will work if visibility is more than 800 meter. The second one CAT2 will allow visibility if it's more than 350 meter. And CAT3A will allow an aircraft to approach when visibility is more than 200 meter. And we have lastly CAT3B which will allow an aircraft to approach if visibility is more than 50 meter. Then there is CAT3C but I don't have any information regarding how much is the approach visibility in which it will work. And there are two special types of CATs which we will be not discussing in this video. You may refer to the Wikipedia or to the given video description. There are various manufacturers in the world who manufacture machines or components which are needed to operate such a high advanced technology system known as ILS or instrumental landing system. So some of the well-known companies are Honeywell and Rockwell Collins. That was a deep dive to understanding such a highly advanced system which is referred as ILS or instrumental landing system which helps an aircraft to approach in the worst of the conditions obviously. So we hope you have enjoyed this small documentary on the working of the instrumental landing system and what is it and a deep dive. But if you want to learn more or for those aviation enthusiasts who want to learn more I'm giving some uh, video links down in the description box. You can watch those and learn more. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed this documentary. Thank you very much for watching this documentary. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Enjoy the last minute views of the ocean. And goodbye. Goodbye.